welcome back to my channel um y'all we are about to do a very realistic very quick get ready with me y'all see the back of my room is a mess i look a mess like i'm doing my little leave out refreshing her right quick i'm going to the hawks versus hornet games fingers crossed i am the game already started it's 7 14 trying to leave out by 8 15 my house by 8 15 the latest so let's hurry up let's get it going gonna get into some topics we're gonna get into them right after i do my eyebrows because that's the most important part and that's honestly the part that take the longest but i'm using the anastasia brow wiz in the color dark brown um yeah okay so we back and we looking a little crazy but eyebrows is done i wet my beauty blender um, I like to do my edges before my makeup because my edges don't be trying to stay when, um, I got makeup on my face. So, yeah. Y'all, I've been trying to wear my hair off, but boy, I just been breaking my hair off. I put so much heat on it, but... I use edge control sometimes I use spritz um, yeah spritz just make it like not move so the hair soon but now we're just gonna clip it back and get into this face so I've been using um the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and the cup excuse me praline I like this foundation I was um stuck on the NARS the uh Radiance Natural Longwear but it was um out of stock one day oh I'm breaking out They was out of stock one uh, out of stock one day, and I gave this one a try, and I like it. It's thick. It's like a lot thicker, but I like it. So yeah, so I don't know. We're gonna get into some quick topics, I suppose. Um, I guess I'm just like do a life update, like not completely, but. I don't know, right now I just been in like a I wouldn't even call it a funk. I just been lazy. Like I, I really been lazy. I've really been playing myself like it's really ridiculous. But yeah, I just feel like sometimes I go through periods of stages where I'm just like unmotivated or I'm lazy, like I'm real life just lazy, like it's so pathetic. It really is so pathetic. But I really got to break out that shell because I just be getting content with the littlest things. Like $2,000 in your bank account should not make you content, baby. It should make you like, all right, I need to get 20. 
Like, you know what I'm saying? And I just be feeling like I just be too content and chilling where, where, or I'm going to say when I have goals, like, I got goals that I want to accomplish this year. And although, like, my goals um, is on my lock screen and my home screen, it's like I be missing it. Like, I be missing past this. So, I'm really trying to, like, pull myself out of this lazy phase. Like, I don't know what's going on, but I'm just, like, you know, very disappointed at myself and how I've been, um, you know, coming on YouTube. Like, it's giving me lazy. It's giving I don't want it, you know? So, you know, I'm very self-aware and... Um, I'm very hard on myself as well, but I don't know. Sometimes it's just like, I ain't got a hundred mil yet. I can't chill yet, okay? And I be chilling heavy. Like, er, wrong. You want to be a content creator, baby? Let's go. Like, so, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just in a place right now where I'm trying to pull myself out of the funk. And if I say, like, I'm trying to pull myself have I been doing my morning routine? No. Have I been journaling? No. Have I been consistently reading my Bible and praying daily before I do anything else? No. So, I don't know. I'm just really trying to, or not that I'm really trying to. In my head, I'm trying to, but I haven't, like, actually applied myself yet. It's like, I need to, and I need to snap out of it quick, because summer right around the corner, like, I got vacations, my birthday right around the corner. Y'all know I do 11 Days of Faith. This is my second year doing it. And so, you know, I have a lot of content to put out. And I haven't even been building my momentum. I've been slacking off. So, and I really have no excuse. Like, I can give y'all 50 excuses in a row and they still won't make sense. Because they not true, like. I'm going to just be real and say I've been lazy. And if anybody out there too that like is lazy, like girl, get up. Actually, Sarah Jakes has a sermon that is like, girl, get up. And maybe I need to, like I used to start my day with sermons. And I need to. I had posted on my Instagram a while ago, like, what's things that you guys do to get back motivated. And y'all commented so many things, like so many things. And I just haven't applied it, like... I don't know what's going on with me, y'all. I prayed today, like, just please give me drive. Please give me motivation, God. Like, I need to apply myself. Real talk. So, yeah, if you in a lazy funk, too, like, just, just apply yourself. You got dreams to get to. If you need to, go back to your um, goals that you set for yourself for this year and figure out what you need to do to accomplish them. Because right now, I'm not content. Like, I'm very disappointed in myself. But it's cool. I'm about to I'm about to really get in my bag. And I've said this several times and still haven't did it. But I'm for real this time because... I'm about to turn 22 years old and, you know, 22 ain't a, like a huge year, but every year is just a blessing, you know, to make it um, and to experience life. But it's just like, shoot, I'm turning 22. Um, you know, it's technically supposed to be the year that I graduate college and I'm not. So I need to have something to show for those four years that I've been out of college. I mean, that I've been out of high school. Like, you got to have something to show for it, you know? So, um, yeah, it's, I gotta get myself together, um, and I need y'all to get y'all self together with me, um, or just motivate me if you are, um, if you want your, if you want your stuff, motivate me. So let me know how y'all been feeling. Like, is it only me that's being lazy, or is it something in the air? But yeah, that's just kind of like where I've been. Um, yeah. 
Um, what else did I want to talk about? Mm. Oh, I guess I can talk about, so y'all know recently me and my sister just launched our um, very first business, Close Clothing. Um, if y'all haven't already, visit the site, shop the site, visit the page. Let me know you guys' opinions, but I'm gonna tell y'all like, launching a business is no joke. Being a CEO, that's heavy. You know what I'm saying? Like, launching a business and I'm gonna be very transparent like, our stuff hasn't sold yet like I thought it was, you know? And I don't know if, is it because, you know, we didn't um, come out with something that's like, you know, people want. I'm guessing that's what it is, but it's very, very, very discouraging to like, you know, wait all this time to come out with a brand and like it did not, it hasn't yet. Um did what we thought it was going to do so I don't know I really I take my head off to um business owners I don't know how y'all do it like I don't know that's another reason why I'm just kind of discouraged like y'all that that hit me as like a reality check like I was like dang Selling products is not that easy. I like, I have so much respect to business owners. I really do. Like, that's the thing, a lot of times I be having to catch myself because I be like, <clears throat> living you know quote unquote in a fantasy world cause I really thought y'all like it was gonna get posted and it was gonna be on we didn't get that much inventory like I'm just being completely transparent so it was just like I don't know it was a shocker <laughs> it was definitely an eye opener a shocker like whoa what we need to do What do we need to do? So if you launched a business and you have advice, please share it down below because, y'all, I'm like, um, I am lost for words. <laughs> Very discouraged, but I'm just like, you know, if you stop the first time, like, how you gonna be successful? You know, if you give up the first time, how you gonna be successful? So, um, me and my sister have definitely been talking on what we're gonna do for our next drop. Um, Cause although we still have inventory, we need to keep the ball rolling. Um, and if anything, anybody can, you know, just double back. It'll still be on the site, so. Yeah. So, I don't know. I hate to be like, I feel like I'm depressing right now, but I don't know. It's just reality. Like, it's not always up. I definitely be, be going through periods where it's like, what am I doing? What am I doing? Am I goofy to think I can be like a full-time content creator and entrepreneur? Is that just a dream? Am I living in a fairy tale? Like that really be my head and it's like, you know, right now I'm working at a club and I'm really over it. To be honest, I am over the club environment. The club can kiss my peach it really can y'all like 
I'm so over it. Like, money good, it pays the bills, but I, I can't picture myself doing it for more than another year. <laughs> like, another full year. Because it's, it's almost been a year. It'll be a year in, um, the year, the year, it'll be a year in August. Yeah, it'll be a year in August, and it's just like, I don't want to be somebody who gets stuck in there and then five years pass by and it's like, damn, I done ran up all this money and I have nothing to show for it, but still working for them, you know? So it's just like, I don't know, y'all. Again, I'm very hard on myself. I'm very, very critical, but it's just a certain life I see for myself. And when stuff don't look like it's heading towards that direction, I'd be like, whoa. But in the end, like, I'm very grateful. I got to be, like, very grateful just to think about, like, how far I've came at the age that I am. Sometimes, like, um, this real life social media really how you like thinking you ain't you ain't doing enough because you see people that's like 27, 26, 28 doing a whole lot more than you, you know. But we gotta remember, like, I'm only 21. I got four years. This person did not just j jump off and boom, everything was peaches and cream. Like this person was working in and out for four years and it's paying off for them now, you know? And it's like sometimes we can miss, we can miss a person's journey and only be looking at the, um, the results, so. Remember that everybody have a journey. Whether the journey seemed like it was shorter or whether your journey seemed like it's taking a long time. Everybody has a journey. We all got to go through it. We don't all move at the same pace, baby. God ain't built the same road for everybody. Some people got a bunch of humps and bumps and speed bumps and slow bumps in between it. Stop signs and red lights. Some people got a bunch of greens. So, I don't know. But one thing I do know for sure is that I need to just get on it. Like, period. So, yeah. Here's me trying to hurry up. It's 7.48, which I'm still doing good on time because I said I wanted to leave by 8.15. Okay, so I'm getting dressed. Um, I hope this outfit look right, y'all. Because uh, I don't really have time. The popcorn? The puff? Y'all, I don't know if we're going to make it, but my fragrance is uh, Muggler Angel. This is like my favorite combination. Muggler Angel, and I'm almost out of it. Um, mixed with this Juliet Has a Gun. It's the original scent. I almost smell like Baccarat. It's just mixed in like a few notes. 
but favorite combination smells fire i'm out here i'm out I'm late I'm so freaking late but we out y'all we out cute got some boots going got a little mini bag and we out yeah see y'all in the next one thank you for tuning in be sure to like comment subscribe see y'all